Hi family, how are you? I hope y'all are doing fantastic. I am well. I uh, just did a live and the sound was crap. Um, I'm really sorry about that. I really uh, wish that didn't happen that way. So I decided to come back and record a video for you. At least this way I know you'll be able to hear me and whatnot. Um, first thing I want to say is thank you so much, y'all, to my family that supports me. Like, I just love you so much. It's been a long road, you know, of being surrounded by snakes. And it is amazing to have family that supports me and wants to see me do well. It has been such a huge, huge help um, to myself and my children. I just love you guys so much. It's like, truly, it's a miracle. And in, in my eyes, it, it feels like a miracle when you guys reach out and support me. <clears throat> um, okay. So I told a few stories um, on that live that I do plan on telling you guys. I don't know. I should just jump right into it. It's kind of a lot. A lot of you probably don't know me like super well. I don't know how long you've been watching, but I have uncovered my whole story. Um throughout basically a year like you would have to literally like you could to catch up it would probably take you a long time but um I've gone through a lot um uh, my whole life I've always been awake I was born awake I have memories of laying in the crib I I have memories of way back um I have memories of what happened when when the um this men's club offed my my dad um you know they orchestrated it with um my family some of my family and um local authorities um So anyways, I, I don't know how like detailed I can get into this story, but long story short, um, it's been a long road. My um, dad's gone now. My, for the first love of my life is gone. My best friend is gone. And um, the person who is supposed to nurture me and um, guide me and all those things, it, had a hand in all of their mishaps. Um, it's been a lot. And then to be like, y'all know, if you know, you know, it's just been a constant battle of struggling to survive. Okay. Um, and I have watched a lot of YouTube, a lot of tarot readers to try to grasp what was going on because I got an inkling and it was just like, oh my gosh. And then I look up chosen ones and I look up tarot, you know, cause I, I already, you know, I've always read tarot a little bit. Um, I've always been interested in the mysteries, you know? So anyways, um, a lot of the tarot readers are claiming to, you know, be chosen. And I mean, a lot of them, I don't know if all of them are like, if, if I think it's a thing though. It seems like they all are. I don't know. I haven't really researched it. <clears throat> anyways, um. I always just, I always want to see the best in everybody, okay? And, um, 
you know, I've like promoted certain tarot readers. And the thing about me is I don't, there's a lot of stuff I don't remember. But I remember certain things like, like, I can't forget. And it, like with the news, okay? I've been be able to do this since I was a kid. They'll say something on the news one month and the next month they'll say the exact opposite and everybody forgets what they said before. And they just go with it, what the, the new, the new storyline, like, the public's memory is so short. Well, anyways, two readers that I've always considered to be like young souls, okay? And um, maybe not coming off as totally authentic, but um, just, you know, I thought that they were on the right track at least. You know, they were trying, they were trying to do the right thing, but Anyways, what happened was two of them um, today, I saw them straight up lie yesterday and today, straight up lie about something they told in a story like it was a month or two ago. Like they just totally told it differently. <laughs> like went from a drug, like somebody that used to um, abuse substances and and go to jail and all this to now like somebody who has a clean record what like I remember <laughs> like what, what was going on and then somebody was saying that they um broke their uh celibacy and and now they've now they're back to being celibate they've been celibate for years again like huh like I remember what you said um, the main thing is I'm just so disappointed because I supported these people, you know what I mean? And they, uh, they're obviously not on the right path. They're pretending, they're pretending, they're telling stories. Like how much of is it, how much of it is real and how much of it is fiction? How much of this hard luck story is really a hard luck story and how much of it is just them trying to generate funds. So anyways, I wanted to share that because um, I know that I just always want to see the best in people. And listen, I know you all aren't as gullible as I am. And you probably are. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> I gotta stop it. So I just thought I would mention that. Um, I remember stories that people tell and when they come back and tell a completely different story, I'm just flabbergasted. I don't even know what to say at that point because it's just like, what? Um, there's just like no, nothing they say matters anymore. None of it. Who knows what's true and what's not. It's all a lie as far as I'm concerned at this point. Um, yeah, they're on some kind of inverted karmic path. Um, pretending to be tortured. <laughs> like, pretending. Earth. Eleven. This is really a time family where things are just going to turn around. Um, <clears throat> things are going to be so blatantly obvious to people that even somebody, you know what, here's how I'm seeing it is like intuition is going to be like taste. It's something that everybody is from very familiar with and most people can describe fairly well, <laughs> you know, it's just like another sense, like smell, what that looks like. It's going to be, this feels like, and it's not going to be just psychics. It's going to be everybody. Everybody's going to see through everything. 
It's going to be a scary time. It's going to be a scary time for some people. They're not looking forward to this countdown. This countdown till um, Halloween. This is something else I talked about that I've been seeing. Um, coming up, Halloween. Okay, so here's what I'm seeing. Those of you who have been on this journey for a while. Um, what I was seeing last year um, was like all of these death rituals um, or death spells being done on the chosen basically the idea was to get you to off yourself and um this had to be done <clears throat> within a certain period of time one year it had to be d done within one year one cyclic loop one year and I don't know if this is going to line up with Halloween or if this is going to line up with the full moon. But I think Halloween and the full moon are pretty close anyway. The full moon is going to be before Halloween, I think. But anyways, this is all going to backfire when they hit their deadline, which is this full moon or Halloween. <clears throat> That's when all this death magic is going to backfire, is what I'm hearing. And what's going to happen is they are going to be having these issues of um, offing themselves like they were trying to get you to do. But it's not going to be just them. Like, I'm seeing it, like, tenfold. So it's going to be them feeling this way and everyone close to them. Um and a lot of people, a lot of them aren't going to make it. It's, it's the curse. It's a curse. I don't know what it's called, but it's some kind of curse. It's a backlash. Truth. And the guides are bringing in some kind of truth about this. This has been <clears throat> a lot of the reason that they've been so scared so freaked out um because they know that this time limit is is up and it's coming up and they're taking a look at you and they're like uh yeah she's nowhere near offing herself so now what or himself sorry Affluence. So this twisted karmic path that they're going on, not the one that the chosen have gone down, um, the upright karmic path where they're learning these lessons and taking their hits, you know, like this is like an upside down one where they're trying to, uh, you know, it's like a weighted coin. They're trying to cheat. They're trying to cheat the energy so that they get <clears throat> some sort of affluence by pretending to be a tortured chosen one. Divine masculine is grounding, connecting to earth and is affluent. A shift coming in. Time is bringing in this shift. <clears throat> uh, were these people who were faking it to create uh, affluence around them will no longer be able to do so. And 
<clears throat> it's going to shift to where people that are actually imparting true spiritual wisdom, they're the only ones that are going to be benefiting from the chosen. Um... shadow yeah some of these guides are living in their shadow side and trying to <clears throat> tell you how to live in the light how can you lie on a public platform and consider yourself saved or chosen I don't think you can they must know. Sorry, family. This is like baffling me a little bit. How people in the cho how people in the spiritual community can study this stuff so much just to try to fool the spiritual community. Like, not really get anything out of it. Not level up. Stay at the same level or even maybe go down a level. Inverted release. Yeah, they're refusing to release their shadow side. They're refusing to tell the truth. Truth. Guides should tell the truth. Guides should be honest. Authentic. And at this point, like... I, I don't, I'm not going to say that. But, um, yeah, if, if you're going to pretend, if you're going to say that you're leading people towards the light, you better be doing it. And not by telling stories. Untruths. Like, you should know better. You totally should know better. Inverted full moon. Something's going to happen on the full moon. Things are going to get ricocheted back. There's going to be some affluence coming in <clears throat> on the full moon family. Um, ground, meditate, find your peace, relax. I've been hearing that, uh, rest, relax, take it easy. There's a shift coming in. Time is, t their time is almost up is what I just heard. Spiritual cleansing. There's about to be a spiritual cleansing of the earth. I mean, we're going through one right now. Maybe it's gradual. I don't know. I don't know how this goes. I'm not going to pretend to remember. I'm sure we've done this before, but I don't know. Exactly. New moon. Inverted. Um, it looks like this person could be doing magic. Like they did something um, <clears throat> out of their shadow on the new moon. 
um, something that they're saying. It's like guides, shadow, new moon, something that they're saying to somehow cast illusions. Which is magic. Trying to manipulate people with words. Fire. Yeah, this isn't good. This might be worse than I thought. Regardless. <laughs> um, I felt this when I was doing the live, shoot. Regardless, this person's doing magic. And they're pretending to be a spiritual, like a guru. And they're attacking the collective. Okay. Let me get oh my goodness, the colors. And y'all when it comes to what's happening and like honestly telling the future it's impossible because you know we're creating as we speak, like, in the present. <sighs> Energy is so important. Three of Swords. This forward momentum energy is so important. They're trying to make you feel broken hearted. Um, and you know what that does? It takes your power away. Three of Pentacles. This is what they do for work. Yo, I don't even like reading this. This is crazy. I'm sh I'm in shock. I had no idea. I'm in shock. Um, moon. Like I said, <clears throat> right under fire. They're doing moon magic. They might be involved in these death rituals from last year. On the chosen. It'd be the perfect cover. Great way to find chosen ones. So pre pretend you are one and do tarot readings for them. And then target them with magic, death magic. To try to, I don't know, steal their destiny. Weird. I mean, I only heard about this in movies. <laughs> this is like confirmation. Um, although I did see this today, it was weird. Like, I guess that's kind of what triggered this whole avalanche of um, onion peeling. <laughs> so I feel like I'm doing, I'm peeling an onion. You know, little by little. 
we're getting to a much more pungent part of the onion. Inverted Queen of Swords. Um, somebody that talks badly about you, is very judgmental of you. Um, yeah, they really think that uh, uh, there's something special. This is weird. My ears are burning. Magician. Um, you've managed to counteract this. This, like, you're the true ma magician. You're the upright magician. You've managed to counteract this by using the truth. By listening to your guides. Um, waiting patiently for the earth to overcome these, close out these karmic cycles once and for all. But, um, yeah, this is trippy. Ten of Wands. Uh, I guess these people are feeling really burdened because of the fact that this magic that they've been doing isn't working. You don't look like you're anywhere near offing yourself. So it's kind of really bad news for them because them and everyone close to them is going to start feeling the effects of this death magic that they were sending your way. To get you in a complete state of terror, doom and gloom, anxiety, just a nightmare. So that you just end it all for yourself. And they could, what, I don't know, I'm not sure what they were going to get out of this. I can see you, oh my gosh. It is crazy. Y'all, I can see straight through this flipping camera. And it's like, t time literally does not exist at all. At all. When we're engaging, when we're on the same page, we're on the same page at the same time. Period. Um, <clears throat> so much for doing lives. I guess um, they're not going to... They're going to mess with that, I guess. I don't know. And here's another thing, y'all. I'm not sure what's taking so long because I, to be monetized, I, like, I don't know. It was like a month and a half, two months ago. I applied to be monetized and I haven't heard anything back. So I don't know what's, I don't know what's going on with that. But anyways, um, now my, that, that's the first time I've ever, well, actually it's not, but that's the weirdest sound I've had with a live. Like it was different. Like something was really weird with that. And obviously it's not my phone cause I use the same phone, um, to record videos. Anyways, what were we talking about? I should probably, I should probably just upload this, let you guys go. High Priestess. Your intuition is on point. It's so transparent. What's going on. Um, yeah. So you, you know their secret. You know this person's secret. They did this moon magic on you and it's about to backfire. Queen of Wands, because uh, it turns out that you are magic too. You're able to alchemize the doom and gloom and turn it into a happy sunny day. <laughs> oh goodness. And you probably do this with a lot of meditation and time spent alone. Um, and due to your spiritual cleanliness, your pure King of Swords, 
and there's somebody that can can see this that like it's not just me that can see through these copycats i'm gonna start calling them copycats i don't know what else to call them they're not tarot readers i mean i guess they are reading tarot but if you're not a truth teller how could you be a tarot reader i'm sorry it just confuses me i'll have to investigate that further but i just don't see how it seems like you definitely must have an agenda like the cards are saying here like you're in this group that was doing this weird halloween death magic last year and shoot probably the year before that for all i know i just started paying attention <laughs> I think it was three years ago I started to suspect magic. Maybe four. But it hasn't been, you know, it hasn't been that long. Since I was completely clueless to them being this dark. Like, I knew some of them were very dark. But I had no idea that it was this bad. That they were, that they wanted me gone. Like napping in the dirt um inverted six of cups yeah your family's involved here <clears throat> this could be someone in your family that's online just straight lying Acting like they're divine. But they're just liars. You know, and I don't know. There's just something about it. it rubs me the wrong way. Um, yeah, there's nothing that I... There's nothing that... Once I realize somebody's a liar, I'm done. I don't want to hear anything they have to say because... They're a liar. I mean, does it matter what they say? Not really. Um, Ace of Swords. I prefer the truth. Um, to cut through all this BS. Um, the truth about all of this work that's been being done to keep you broken hearted. This weird judgmental spy energy. These weird people sitting in glass houses spying on you. When in comparison, you're damn near perfect, really. <laughs> Like, what do they think they're going to find? That they're not ten times worse for. You know. And there's this thing about the past, too, and the present. They're still acting a fool. They're all up in my stuff right now. Um, like, they're really upset about something. I don't really care what. Inverted Eight of Cups. They're a, a completely unable to walk away from you, okay? And I'm, I'm going to tell you a little story, I think, and then I'll wrap this up. They're completely unable to walk away from you. And I figured out why they're in love with you, okay? Because half of these people are... Uh, not half of them. Okay, a lot of these people are incarnations of Lucifer, the devil. Um, all at the same time. Just like we're incarnated in other bodies at this particular time. Chosen ones are. Anyways, um, <clears throat> yeah. 
yeah so um where was i going with oh yeah so the reason that they have this like crazy attraction to you and just serious like are seriously obsessed with you is because they literally are like they um their body is inhabited by the soul of the creator of one of the creators of the universe lucifer the devil and he's all throughout the bible like <laughs> Um, it, it's, it's just so blatantly obvious to me now. I'm like, I cannot believe I just picked up on this. You know, I cannot believe I was just clued into this, but, um, I don't care what the Bible says because I feel like that is all probably lies with a few good stories, you know, but regardless, um, the reason that he's so obsessed with you or these people are so obsessed with you is because he created you like he looks at you in awe and like he he's literally proud and he takes yeah he takes pride in in you as a product of him he takes credit for your successes your spiritual aptitude all of it he loves how funny you are how fun you are, how smart you are, um, how hard-headed you are, how uh, driven you are. Like, he just loves these things about you because he sees himself in you. He's a fallen angel, you know, but, like, he still is one of our creators and he does he takes pride even though like really at this point i don't see how he can be take much credit at this point for anything that uh you have done um i'm sure we could have been tortured at um i, I don't know he didn't he didn't have to he didn't have to do this he didn't have to do all this okay <laughs> um it's crazy everything that's gone down family and i'm trying to think because i that kind of came out again like the my live did so hopefully that kind of covers what i've been oh there was one other thing that i explained and i'll go ahead and explain that again now um about something that i've been being shown about how we've been stuck in this loop like this karmic loop it's like a spring okay it's evolution it's a it's a spiral like a conch shell it's a spiral but the way i see it is like right in the center of this it's like a spring it was like compressed down like we've been compressed and that's why we were continually looping on the same loop. Like we might have been going up, but it was like a compressed slinky. It was just like one like millimeter at a time. It was like the same thing over and over. And that was something that was done. Um, I, you know, I, I'll get into that. But I, you know, I think that was done by the counterforce. But anyways, because so, it shouldn't have been this flipping hard. Um, to get out of here, to ascend out of here. These spiritual lessons are not meant to drag like this. But anyways, so it was like compressed, like slinky. Well, now it's gonna, it's like going up. We got past that last loop. Like none of us are engaging in that karmic loop. They literally upset us so much that we just jumped out. They just, they excited our electrons to the point that we jumped to the next orbit and we got out of there. So now we're at this point where the spring is just boing and we can expand and grow and love and life and beauty and joy. It's going to be amazing and it's all going to happen so fast. We're going to develop so fast because we're not compressed into this little box anymore. We broke free. We broke free of the matrix family. I will get back to you very soon. I love you. Have a beautiful day, night, and um, 
yeah take care thank you